Well, hello guys. It is AR Legend, and today I am doing What If Naruto was neglected, Part Four. Last time we left off when Naruto got the curse mark. Naruto, sorry, Sasuke got the curse mark for Orochimaru, and Naruto sealed the curse mark, and they went to the tower. So let's get into the video. In this part, the plane. Uh, what was that? The preliminary. I can't speak that. Sorry, guys. Those rounds happen, as you know. All the battles go the same, except Naruto ones. Rose fought some random grass, Janine, and same with Manma and Mito. Both of them fought the sound Ganes. The Ganes who attacked Sasuke and Naruto in the original series. Naruto fought Kiba. and this time it goes very different kiba thought that it was just a pure luck that naruto passed the exams as he heard many things about naruto that he was a demon and has no talent so he thought that he could easily defeat him so he mocked naruto telling him that he can easily win this match as naruto has no chance against him naruto smirked at this and their battle starts everyone was watching as they heard many things about naruto but rose and kakashi knew how strong naruto was and how powerful and skill he could be and how quickly he can finish this battle the round starts and kiba and akamaru quickly dashes towards naruto trying to hit him but naruto easily dodges each and every attack of kiba and akamaru Kiba was getting frustrated. He said, "Stop dodging that, you fool. I will finish this in my next attack." Kiba did the man beast transformation and did fang over fang. This hits Naruto and which grind him to the ground. Everyone thought that it will end Naruto and Manma and Mito were smirking on this. But suddenly they saw that Naruto came out of the hole that was created that was created by kiba unharmed not even a scratch on him naruto smirked and said it was a good one but it will not be enough to defeat him kiba was a bit shocked but he said you are just getting cocky you must be hurt my this attack will finish you off kiba dashes towards naruto again trying to do fang over fang to finish the battle at this attack but naruto simply vanished from his sight and appeared behind him kicking him on his back which sent him flying to the wall making a small crater in it akamaru tries to attack naruto but naruto quickly unconscious him by a simple chop on his neck Kiba was furious that Naruto hurt Akamaru and blindly attacked Naruto. Naruto did a one-hand Rasengan, which shocked everyone who did not knew that Naruto knew the jutsu and slammed the Rasengan into Kiba, which sent him flying and quickly knocked him out. The match was declared on Naruto's favor, and everyone was shocked. They thought that. Zabuza must have came there because of Kakashi as he was he might be the one who defeated him but they did not knew that Naruto was the one as Zabuza was there and smirking he knew that how strong that kid was and how easily he defeated so many people with a simple jutsu not just defeating him vanishing them from existence almost erasing them from existence After that same matches goes the same Rose easily won his heart battle and got praise from Kakashi as she was a fellow you can say clan member After that Minato did his speech that the final match will held after one month as you guys have one month to prepare All of them went for training Jiraiya and Tsunade start training Manma and Mito and Naruto was alone once again but but he knew that he has a lot of things that he can 
improve. So he start training with sword, with Zabuza. As Zabuza was the one who start training Naruto and giving him tips about his sword. sword. Naruto did a lot of training and Rose did training with Kuranai to her Genchutsu so that she can improve it even though she do, do not need it but it would help her in long run so she decided to go Kuranai to the Kuranai Naruto started training and he started doing practicing it his Jutsu and Taijutsu battle against Zabuza and other technique in private one month has passed as we have nothing to do. But in this one month, Naruto also gained the dragon summoning. As he already had the phoenix summoning from Uzugakure, which he found. And also learned both sage modes, phoenix sage mode and dragon sage mode. As both of these summonings were rare and no one has ever, in present time, none of the people, none of the village, have these two summonings but Naruto was the one who has both of these summonings so Zabuza was left impressed but he knew that anything can be expected from this kid after that the final matches occur in this time Minato was told by Kakashi and Naruto that it was most likely Orochimaru who attacked them on the forest of death so he start preparing his ambu and his soldiers they did the protection seeds around the village in academy hospital it department and many other departments where they thought these departments were important so they did the seals to protect them in private so that they might not get too suspicious of them. In this time, Naruto has also sealed away. No, just left it there. Naruto training did well. And now it's time for the finals. The matches of Shikamaru, Temari, goes the same and other matches. Menma won against a sound ganin. Mito also won against Igras and it's time for Naji vs Naruto. Proctor said, Naruto Namakaze Uzumaki and Naji Shuga please came down to the ground. Both of them came. Naji said, Now it's time for me to show you that you are a failure and you always will be a failure. Naruto was a bit confused on it. Naruto asked, what does he mean about it? Naji told Naruto about his story and told him that he is a prodigy and always will be. And you, you are a failure who ran away from the village so that you can be away from those people who start hurting you. If you were strong, you could have protected yourself. Naruto smirked at this. Naruto said, yes, I went out of the village so that I can get stronger. But it was my choice I, and I left with my own very will because I wanted to wander around the world and see different things and it was for the best. And now I am stronger than ever and I will prove you wrong that once a failure will can never be a failure if he worked hard and I will teach you that. Naji was getting furiated and he started dashing toward Naruto, thinking that she is weak, even though he saw what he did to Naji. Uh, sorry. Akamaru and his partner, what was his name? Kiba. He blindly started attacking Naruto, but Naruto was dodging, dodging each and every attack of him. Naji started using his Byakugan and did 64 palms, but Naruto dodges each and every palm of Naji. Naji even pushed himself to 128 palms, but Naruto also dodges that as well. Naji was getting more and more frustrated as 
none of his attacks were working and narto was narto was dodging all of his attacks as if they were nothing narto decided to attack him and he started dashing toward him trying to deliver a punch but naji smirked at this as he did the rotation which caught narto off guard as he hit the rotation and we sent him flying but narto caught himself narto smirked at this as Naji was smirking, telling him that there is no way that he can win against destiny, as Naji's destiny was to win. Naruto was getting a bit frustrated, listening about this destiny and many things from Naji. Even though he was feeling bad for Naji, when Naji told him about his story, so Naruto decided to change the ideals of Naji by defeating him right here. right now narto said neji i can understand your pain because i went through the same pain but my pain was a bit harder on me as if as you know you have a father who loved you i also have a father who loved me but my other family do not like me and i raised myself on my own so i will defeat you to show your dad the destiny is nothing and destiny can be changed narto did simply vanished from his side as he start using his top speed none of the people even jonis were having trouble seeing narto but narto was still holding back in his speed narto kicked naji on his stomach and delivered a delivered a punch on his face which sent him flying to a ball which create a crater but naji still stand up of sheer will naji said i will not be defeated by you as he ran toward naruto and start delivering 54 pumps but naruto simply dodged each and every one of them naruto delivered a kick on his face which sent him flying once again but Nar- naji still stand up naruto was getting a bit frustrated as he wanted to finish the battle and did not want to hurt naji even more so he decided to use his one of kakajan kai narto smirk and golden chains appears from his back and wrap around naji kushina was shocked when she saw the chains coming from the back of narto as she said that is the uzumaki kakajan kai the uzumaki chains Everyone was shocked. Jiraiya and Tsunade were more shocked at as she did, they knew that Benma and Mito cannot do this change but how Naruto can do this as Minato and Third Hokage did not told anyone that Naruto was in Uzogakure all this time so they thought that he must have picked that up from there. the chains wrapped around naji as naji was trying his best to break out of the chains but it was of no avail the chains were far too strong for him as the chains were sucking up his chakra naji told naruto that he should accept his destiny and should not try to prevent it as his destiny is to lose to him naji was saying this in frustration but naruto said If my destiny is to lose then how are you the one who is struggling here Naruto told the proctor that if Naji stayed in those chains for long all of his chakra will be absorbed and he might be in critical situation and as you you should know that this matter this match is already finished Proctor nodded at this and he declared Naruto Namakaze the winner as naruto told him early that he should call him namakaze as he liked his father name more even though he respects the uzumaki name because he was training in uzogakure proctor declared naruto the winner and naruto released naji from the chains which who was unconscious because of chakra drain everyone was amazed after that the battle goes the same almost all the battles but in this time sasuke 
fought rose no sasuke fought uh, um, let's see you can say that gara yes sasuke fought gara in this time gara was training after seeing naruto's strength and he felt very dangerous thing from naruto so he started training in his kaijutsu and sand control as he knew that he might be a trouble so when sasuke and gara fight start gara simply sent his sand to attack sasuke who was dodging sasuke was training and he was on the same strength as in canon he was training with kakashi and did the same and learned the same things such as chidori and was on same speed sasuke was quite keeping up with gara but gara was not trying hard as he wanted to save his friend for naruto after some time sasuke was dodging in proud and ego he forgot that his stamina was draining quite quickly as it was a plan of gara to drain his stamina first so gara was keeping his distance and attacking from great distance sasuke quickly noted that his stamina is f- fading quickly so he decided to attack head on and approach gara so he start attacking forward but gara was having none of it as his sand wrapped around sasuke legs sasuke tried to free himself but it was of no avail gara sent his sand towards sasuke to attack him but sasuke quickly freed himself and ran to a side as he wanted to save himself for gara After that, Sasuke made a chidori to ki to make quick work of Gara so that he can finish Gara and may go to the next round. Sasuke quickly ran up to Gara and quickly stab him with his chidori to his shoulder. But it was to his surprise that it was a sand clone, and Sasuke hand stuck to the sand as he was trying to free himself. But it was of no avail. as gara had already planned this after that all of the sand of the clone and of the ground wrapped around sasuke and made a coffin sasuke gara said sand coffin which wrapped around mid titan his force to sasuke sasuke was getting squeezed as he had no chance of winning now so he quickly even though it hurt, hurt him but gara was about to kill him as he was still reluctant so he quickly gave up no gara squeezed him very tightly and it was of no avail Sa- sasuke was trying his best to free himself but he after some time he went unconscious because he could not able to force face all the force that was giving to him by the sand coffin as gara was not trying to kill him let's say that the killing was not allowed in finals and he knew about the invasion as well so he did not want to ruin it after that it was time for the final list will be Gara, Naruto, Rose, Manma and Mito. Now it's time for Naruto versus Gara. Because Rose fought some random ninja and won against her. Him. Okay guys, here I will left this part. Hope you like it. Please like and subscribe this channel. Okay, thank you.